Um, I... Hold on, I was out of breath. Okay. I just wanted to... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I forgot I had some music going. and welcome back to my channel so if you couldn't tell my setup is a little bit different I did end up getting my new bed and um, everything's kind of in different areas so I do have a new clean with me video today and we are um, basically going to be going through different water bottles and recyclables and all the papers that were all over my floor as well as finally making that stupid crate so without further ado i hope you guys enjoy this video this is what we're dealing with today so was actually from a few months ago for a baby shower. The more I cleaned, the more notebooks I found, and it is such a problem. Yes, I realized that I threw away a whole book, but there was no way I could get any money back and there was no more information that I needed. So these are the shoes that I always wear and they're always more of a mess. And these are the shoes that I don't always wear, um, it just kind of depends. middle of the crate there was this plastic thing that goes at the bottom of the crate I ended up not needing it and then inside of this white box there are all of the instructions some weird pamphlet thing and then all of these screws for the crate this is everything laid out all these screws all the pieces and then the instructions <sighs> the instructions were really easy i would just always suggest to double check your screws as you can tell i was having a really really hard time with these screws i even heard a really loud popping sound at one point um the main problem was the angle of the crate as well as like the side of the crate. So the reason why the crate was so hard to do was because there's two different size screws and I ended up using the long one instead of the short one to do everything for the crate. Crazy why it didn't end up working. There were only four of the long ones, so I was wondering how it was going to finish. It made a lot more sense when it was with the small ones. Crazy how when you use the right screws, they go in so much smoother and faster. I thought I was so cool because I put this on without needing the instructions, but I found out I actually did it wrong. 
And then I had to put in those little black things because I guess they're supposed to make it so you don't scuff up the floor or something. They were so hard to put in. I found out that this is where the big screws are for, which makes a heck of a lot more sense than them being all around the sides. My arm was in the way for the majority of this, but the screws were not having it. The first one went in so easy and I was like, okay, cool. Now I ended up having to use like all of my strength for each one of these. And after a while with that last one, I finally gave up and just used my dad's power drill. I give up. I'm over this. The finished product, it looks so good. Here's a picture of them now on the crate and in my armoire. And that is it. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any other ideas or suggestions that you want me to do, or if you really enjoyed this video, please leave a comment in the... What? Yeah. Please, <laughs> please leave a comment down below letting me know that you enjoy these videos, any other ideas you have. I am planning on doing new videos every Monday. So... I need ideas um but so just let me know if there's anything that you guys really would like me to do if there's any ideas um, so I know I do have some more Christmas what I have some Christmas stuff coming out and I am planning on doing a few more clean with me because as we can see my room is not quite finished so thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next video bye